Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back. Today we are doing a really different type of video, which is a bit special. Um, is It is me tattooing myself, doing some stick and poke. Um, yeah, I like. I would just wanted to share this with you because I like sharing what I like with you, <laughs> if that makes sense. But anyway, I'm only a beginner. A beginner. I've been binge watching so many stick and poke videos these days, so I really wanted to try to do my own, and you know, share with you my journey with that and everything. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's only my second tattoo, and that's the biggest I made so far um yeah so i'm basically gonna explain to you what i do and stuff um so now i am just you know drawing the design on the stencil so then i can apply the stencil on my skin um i purchased this stencil on amazon i believe yeah uh like almost all of my other supplies and it's pretty good so far. Um, it is a nice stencil, um, stencil paper. But yeah, I got this design from Pinterest. Um, I modified some of the details, you know, just so it's not the actual drawing that I saw. Um, but yeah, and I, yeah, I'm just, as you can see, uh, it, my first attempt was successful. I was happy with it. So I decided to go with, with it. Um, so, yeah, basically. <laughs> and now I, I am trying to see where I could put the stencil, uh, where I could, you know, do my tattoo and stuff. I had in mind the bottom of the leg, um, so yeah, and I decided that's where it is going to go. Then basically I am just um, cleaning my desk and, um, you know, preparing everything. Um, so, yeah, just cleaning my stuff and also sanitize everything. Uh, everything I think I'm going to touch in it and, you know. So, yeah, my desk um, where I'm going to put all my stuff in on, sorry. <laughs> my computer because I'm watching a show or like YouTube videos usually when I'm tattooing and yeah just everything also I am using okay it's really silly it is you know the paracetamol um, tablets thing you know where the pills are I'm using this stuff because I still haven't received my you know little cups uh, so <laughs> I'm using this obviously I, uh, I have sanitized it a lot before I mean enough before I'm putting the ink in. Uh, I don't think it's a really nice idea, but that's all I had. Uh, yeah, so I decided to go with that. Um, please don't judge me. <laughs> then, yeah, I'm just uh, being careful uh, with sanitation. And then also, you know, to wipe out uh, the tattoo ink, I know a lot of people use green soap, but the thing is I couldn't chase it, so I decided to just mix some alcohol and some water, obviously way more water than alcohol, and it worked out pretty well so far, so I don't know if it's a good idea, but it's the only thing I found, uh, and that works. So today I'm gonna use a 3 run liner needle. Um, because I I used the fiber on run liner needle last time and I kind of wanted to try a three right now instead of a five. So I am looking for it now. Three, we've got three here. Because I kind of want the lines to be still not too thick. Um yeah. And anyway, if it's not good, I will just change the needle and you know that's no problem. Um, so yeah, I got these ones from Amazon, obviously. Um, yeah, I think it was like 13 euros for a mixed pack of 15 needles, which is really good. So this ink is the Super Totem Black. So far it's pretty good. I've used it 
just once yet so yes i'm just putting the ink on my thing <laughs> then i'm still wiping up things because i'm really afraid to get infected in some ways yeah i'm taking a lot of precautions just in case And then I'm so applying the stencil. So I should have put this footage before because I did it before setting up my desk. But anyway, um, so I'm using uh, no. First, I shaved my skin previously uh, before, and I'm applying some alcohol. Uh, and then I'm putting. It's not stencil stuff because I couldn't get it either. So I just got a kind of special. Kind of, it looks like a deodorant, but it's <laughs> for stencil. Um, and then I was being really careful uh, that I liked the placement and that it was well applied, which is a bit hard, honestly. I think if you have someone to help you out, it would be best. But yeah, then I'm pressing kind of a bit harsh, hard on the tattoo to make sure the stencil is well on the skin. And then I'm taking it off really slowly. And then I check the result, if I like it or not. Obviously, if you don't like it, you have to take it off really quickly with alcohol because it's gonna stay on your skin. Um, and yeah, now we are ready to tattooing. Um, so, yeah, it's really exciting. I was a bit afraid, obviously, a bit nervous, I'm, I mean, because it's only my second one. And the first one was nice, but it was way smaller and it was in a better placement so i didn't have any cramps or anything like that but this one was in a bit like a bit of an awkward placement so i was in pain after two hours um it lasted four hours total i guess and after two hours my hips and my back was really painful were really painful but <laughs> that's part of the job so yeah i trained myself on some oranges obviously it's nowhere near as how it is on your skin so i kind of just well my friend made one on me like uh tattooed me uh, with stick and poke recently last week <laughs> actually and i trained myself uh, a bit there like i you know so i then i was like okay let never mind i'm ready let's go <laughs> so i know some people buy fake skin but I was too lazy to be honest and I I don't have money <laughs> so yeah so yeah anyway I don't really know what to say except that um, it wasn't really painful uh, this area was pretty much okay um, yeah the only annoying thing is that obviously I couldn't really see I mean I could see at the bottom of the tattoo but it was a bit of a no quad placement as i said before so i guess that was the um cons of this tattoo but yeah i don't know if i will be able to go even down other than that like near my ankle uncle because it is really really hard <laughs> and now you've got a close footage of me stick stick and poking <laughs> if we can say it like that uh, obviously I was filming with my left hand so I couldn't stretch stretch the skin but you should do that because it really helps a lot and it's yeah it's better um, but yeah I was just filming so it was just for you to have a closer look because I was really struggling to find a good angle to put my camera on um, so yeah I'm sorry you can't really see much but yeah I tried my best
Yes, as you can see, I I just finished the first path. Uh, path, sorry, not path. Um, it is all right. Um, obviously, I need an maybe another couple passes, especially well, the legs are a bit better. Um, but the legs, the I mean the pose and stuff. But I need to do another pass on the head too, I guess. And I think I'm gonna fill in black some little things like the horns, maybe this little tail and maybe the little pose, I'm not sure. But yeah, it is really cute otherwise. Um, for a first pass, I think it's really not bad. So, yeah. Yeah, so now I'm on to the second pass. Um, I think in total I made two passes but i touched up touched up some little areas that were still a bit mm, you know <laughs> um so yeah overall it took me about four hours i guess um and at that point i think it was a tiny bit more painful than obviously the first pass but it was still really bearable um and yeah i was starting to get really tired but I kept going because I was like, it's almost the end, it's gonna be fine. <laughs> then you're gonna have a nice tattoo. Um, yeah, so now it is almost the end. Oh my god, it's so painful. Although, as I said, it does have some remorse. So not a very good actor one second. Alright, I think we are good. At least we are not bad. As you can see, no you can't see. <laughs> I will just mm, do a close-up later, but I think I think we are pretty good. Um, um let me move you a second. Shit. <laughs> um, I should not touch my phone, but I dis disinfected it before, so it should be fine. Anyway, so yeah, I I hope the ink will go away. Not the ink in the tattoo, I mean the ink around the tattoo. Um, well, the stencil usually takes a while to go away, so that's fine, but the ink like here is... Uh, so I... As I said, I'm still a beginner and I I don't really know if I do if I'm doing this right. Um, but you know, we're learning, it's all fine. And it's like you know, a free tattoo, so it is incredible. I just bought all the things I needed for like 50 euros, which is really cheap. But I do think it's cute. Like the fact that it's not the same wings um because it's a little monster cat so he is not really that pretty you know no he is so cute actually he is very cute um yeah anyway i think i'm done like wiping my skin right now so yeah this is the fire oh my god i almost fell wait let me okay the oh my god just ignore the tape but yeah this is the result the final result I really love it. I think it is really, really cute. Might need some touch-ups later. We will see after a month or so. But yeah, really, really cute. It's a little monster cat with little horns and a little tail and little wings. Yeah, I'm quite happy actually um, with myself, my second tattoo officially. Now my 14th in total. So yeah, pretty, pretty cute. So yeah, that was my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, yeah, now we're seeing all kind of content in my channel, but it's okay. I hope you enjoyed it. I was keeping, I kept looking here, but you're here. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. And yeah, just tell me what you think if you want. And like if you want. And yeah, anyway, I will see you next time. Bye.